Uh, welcome to Visual Basic 3.1, and I should clarify here that this is part two of 3.1. As you can see, I have a lot of code put in here, most of it around this calculator, calculate button, and I've got form done, I've got proper naming conventions. The majority of the work has been done. However, our program, if we look, says ultimately and you think i know where this was code write the code for each button make sure to catch any bad input data and display a message box to the user so two things that we haven't talked about yet how we trap errors by a user who could crash our program and message boxes and actually message boxes i do an old school way the book will show a different way you can look that up and, and check into that but anyway, let's get to it. I guess we'll start just kind of reviewing what we had here. We'll run our program. First time running it, could take a moment. And our user will enter, I had 10 grams of fat, five grams of carbos, and four grams of protein, not the healthiest snack. And we were told to convert um, every gram of fat into nine ca calories over here and carbohydrates into and protein um, every gram is four so I'm just multiplying by four four and by nine up here when we calculate so there's my times nine my times four my times four I added all those items up to get this um, our total calories so far is right here and the number of items entered one so I clear Enter another one. Let's go three, four, five. Calculate times nine, times four, times four. Add them, and now my 63 got it at, was added into my total calories. Maybe this is my daily intake. So far, I haven't eaten, taken that many calories. Two items entered, etc. Clear, exit. Okay, so now we're going to address how do we keep the user from killing the program. If I had a user run this program, and let's say they did this and hit calculate, my, pro, my code is going to try to grab an integer value out of here and then calculate with it. And you're going to see what happens because it doesn't treat this like zero. If I intend this to be zero, I actually have to hit zero. I calculate. It says, hey, we've got an error. And you can even look up the, you can even look up the error that it's trying to make this integer that we talked about yesterday. Can't stress enough. If you didn't see yesterday, you need to see yesterday. It's trying to turn it protein grams right here into something that's not a number. And if we do that momentarily, we're not going to be able to make a calculation four times. I need four times some number. So we have to prevent that from happening. So I'll stop my program. And... I'm going to show you a real kind of lazy approach and then the way that we're going to do it. So there is a statement that's that's called try. I put in a try, which means, hey, try to do this, but if you don't, catch my error and give me some room to tell the user about it. So I won't get any errors here. I'm just dimensioning variables. But my first error could happen right here if the text box txt fat, if this guy is entered anything other than a number. So I'm gonna put my try above here, and then if there's an error, I wanna skip everything down through here. And so I'm gonna put my catch, I just control X, control V down here, and I don't even use this EX as exception. And now I'm going to run this and show you what happens if I if I do the same error. Um, I, I guess I'll explain first. We're going to hit the but the calculate button, and I'm going to have a I'm going to leave some blank data there that would cause us errors, or I could put out al alphabetic in there, and it's going to come down here. And one of these three values when I run the program is going to create an error. So we're going to jump down to here, catch, and then we're going to end try and we're going to end the sub. And it's going to leave us kind of wondering, wondering what's really going on here. So, but I'll run it that way. So let's say, let's say I get this one right, I get this one wrong or right, and I 
either put alphabetic or just leave it blank. And I calculate, and you'll see, it was able to do these. It was not able to do anything here, although it didn't give me an error, which is a little bit unusual here. Let me run this again with a blank. I think it tries to assign a value as, as though it was a variable. So I leave this guy blank. Let's go four, three, four, come on. And now I run this, calculate. And for whatever reason, it's not dying on that step. Oh, that's <laughs> silly me. That's because I put the, I should stop this and start over, but I'm not proud. That's because I put that try catch in there. The try catch now is keeping that error from happening. There wasn't an error here. There wasn't an error here. Let me uh, clear this. And now I'm going to try this again with my error being up here. And I calculate. And it doesn't even put values in for these. Calculate. Because it, it, it treated this as an error. I'm so used to when I do these try catches, when I get the error, I put a message down here. So we could get an error here if it's... An error here, an error here, any of those could be errors, and it would just immediately cease running this and jump down to here. So right here, I'm going to put a message box. And again, this is a different form of putting in message boxes. I'm just going to go msgbox parenthesis. And in parentheses, the first, there's all sorts of things that explain what's going on here. I usually make a title, and I almost always put some text in there. So I'm going to go, you must enter, or entries must be numeric, I guess I'll say. Entries must be numeric, period. And that would be enough, but I'm going to go ahead and come out of here, hit a comma, and just show you this for a minute. So this is like if I want to add a button to my message box, which oftentimes we will, but most times we won't. Another comma now is like, do I want a title? And I'm just going to put quotations, attention, and we'll show you what that does. So now we run this, and I go five, six, and I'll leave this one blank calculate attention entries must be numeric okay so we've got some we've got some issues there with this but i got a message at least and now i know oh i have to have a number what if i put a seven here and a three r here calculate oh entries must be numeric now what entry what if i had a hundred entries and i left one i had a typo in one so right now, I'm, I've satisfied what they've asked for, but here's what we're going to do. And this is sneaky. It would be nice if I could identify which was an error. One of these spots right in here, I must be grabbing something that's not a number. So I'm going to assume for right now that my error is happening on int fat grams. And I'm going to change this to fat grams must be numeric and, th and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear out fat grams so my txt fat dot text or no not text dot clear will clear out the, the bad information that I had in fat grams if it was a typo and then I'm also going to uh, let's you know what, let's leave it at that for right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and start this. And I will put an error here uh, for FG. I'll put something decent here, five, and something decent here, six, and I calculate. Fat grams must be numeric right here. I click OK, and it clears it. Now, the next thing the user is going to do is need to come here and click here. And it's such a courtesy to think of the user. So I'd like to do that move for them. And it prompts them to enter. Oh, now I can enter. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to go txtfat.focus. We put the focus on that. Watch how cool this is. 
I'm really being considerate of the user. So if I go 3D, 5, 2, everything's good, but I got a typo. Calculate, fat grams must be numeric. I'm going to hit OK. It's going to clear this, and then it's going to set the focus right there so I can immediately type. Watch this, 1, 2, 3. I can immediately type my grams, calculate, and continue my program. Okay? Now, what's you obviously see the problem. It might not be fat grams. So this is called nesting, nesting tri-statements. Maybe txt fat was a user error. They put something wrong in here. But maybe there was an error here. And I'm going to go try. It gives me another catch. And I'm going to control X those. And I'm going to put them right here. Control V. And I'm going to take that off. So see how this is nested. If, if something fails in here, it's going to track right down this line, right down to there. And tell me fat grams were a problem. But otherwise rid of some of this white space okay otherwise if int carbs causes a problem or if anything else that the rest of the way causes a problem we're going to go here so i'm going to do this i'm going to control c control v and i'm going to go carb I'll go carbohydrate, not be that lazy. Carbohydrate grams must be no numeric. I'm going to go T TXT. Oh, I think I'll just start that one over just so I can help. TXT carbo, why aren't they telling me what it is? TXT carbs. I don't know why they didn't help me there. TXT carbs dot clear. And txt fat, nope, carbs, should be there though, carbs, fat, focus. So let's see if carbs works now. Start. I run this guy, and I go good data, bad data, good data, calculate. It still gives me that 45, but it says, hey, listen, carbohydrates had to be numeric. So I click this guy, I put in my seven, I calculate, numbers add up, we're in good shape. Now you may you may be wondering, what if I make an error in both? And you'll see we do have an issue there. If I go error, error, and seven, calculate, it's just gonna jump to fat grams must be numeric. So I put that in, calculate, hey, carbs must be no numeric. So it didn't catch both of those. All right, one more nest. So here we go. If if we if, if grams are good, we'll do our calculations with grams. If carbs are good, we'll do our cal calculation with carbs. And now the user might have had an error here. So one more try. Capture these, nest it. Control X right here. Control V. Ooh, I lost my catch. Let's get rid of that. So right in here, I'm going to say message box protein grams must be numeric. I will bet this is protein, even though they won't help me with it. And I will bet this is protein. Notice if this is right, it will self-capitalize that P. Boom, got it. So now I run this. No matter where I make an error, if I do nothing, it's saying, hey, fat grams have to be numeric. I uh, make, make this numeric, make this numeric, make an error here. Calculates those for me. That's nice. But protein, hopefully it's going gonna, it's gonna to clear protein and focus right there. Boom, got it. 15, calculate. Now, there are other, uh, there's another kind of more advanced way to handle this. 
that's really, really cool and tells you at the instant that you're typing something in there that it's not good. So that I might, might create another video on that, but the author's intent in the book is that you start learning to deal with try-catch. Anytime a user can input data, and we can input data here, here, and here, there is the potential that they screwed something up. And you may say, well, that's a lot of work compared to the first lazy way you said you did it. All right, here it is. You may, I might quiz this at some point. Here is the Hearn philosophy of life. I am willing to work really, really hard so I can be really, really lazy. That couldn't fit a programmer more. If we're going to try to do everything we can for the user to idiot-proof this thing. Everything we can possibly do to assist. I mean, imagine if you're on a website and you had to fill out 75 fields and it said, you basically got a message after you tried to enter and said, hey, one of your fields is missing. That would be pretty frustrating. So we're going to try to do everything we can to, to clarify. This may be a video you might want to watch uh, another time just to get a feel to it or possibly come back and reference. But you're going to start to get in. When we're letting the user input things, we're going to start to let them or we're going to take care of that so they, so they can't crash the program. And one more point to be made. I think I talked about it on the last. This is a text box. This is a text box. But when I run, I can type things in here. But I can't try to type right now. I don't know if you can hear it. Click, click, click. Nothing's typing in there. Um, this could have just as easily been a label. And I could have put a border on the label and fixed the width. But it's kind of easy to get the common size just by copying and pasting and it gives it a nice look so it's not, and it already has a border so sometimes we just use read only text boxes of course here we're going to get that attention fat grams must be numeric message box and we're back in business okay hope that's helpful and uh we're going to carry that forward tries catches and good luck let me know what i can help you with